that I may obtain help, hallelujah, mercy, when I need it, like right now. God, we need you every day. We need you every hour. We need you moment by moment. Father God, we invite your presence in this place. Lord, let our worship be lifted to you, God. Lord, let you get on and glory in this place. Father, be exalted, God. Lord, we come in the name of Jesus. Surrender it right now. Lord, that you would have preeminence in this place. God, that you would move by your spirit. God, that you would speak expressly. God, that you, oh God, yes. would be exalted. Oh, yeah. That you would get the glory yeah. and the honor yeah. and the praise yeah. in yeah. Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. to lift a couple of quick um, scriptures before you this morning. Amen, amen. There is a word from the Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. There is a word from heaven. I hope you came this morning looking for something. I hope you came expecting to hear heaven. Listen, it don't matter whether it comes from a male, female. He said there's no bond, no free, no Jew, no no male, no female. It don't matter as long as it's the word of God. Somebody say And you know it's Bible, you ought to say hallelujah. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. We're going, amen, to 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter. We're going to read these three verses together, verses 24 through 27. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you haven't saved me, us on the screen, amen. Let us read it together. Read. Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a perishable crown, but we for an imperishable crown. Therefore I run thus, not with uncertainty, thus I fight, not as one who beats the air, but I discipline my body and bring it into subjection, lest when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. Amen. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. I want you to look at your neighbor as you're sitting and tell them, run. Run to win. To win. Tell somebody else, say, run. Run to win. To win. See, from my perspective, if you're going to run, you may as well at least try to win. All right. There's no point in running if you're not running to win. All right. I can remember when I first started going to business school and, and they would talk to us about profit businesses, for profit and businesses that were non profit. I'm like, that just, that just didn't get to my understanding. Because I'm like trying to figure out why would anybody in their right mind have a not-for-profit business? Right. I mean, like the purpose of business, like you're going to make some money, right? Yeah. Amen. So in my mindset is you do certain things for a certain purposes. All right. So I want to talk to you from a top of today, run to win, but I want to talk to you about why. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about why. I want to talk to you about how. And I want to talk to you about when. All right. Okay. So, so, so that we don't we don't do nothing without purpose. Right. I believe that God purposed us to be here today. Right. I believe that He predestined us before we were in our mother's womb. Right. I believe that the Bible makes it plain that God has a purpose and a plan for each and every one of our lives. Right. See, so what's important to me is, am I fulfilling my plan? My Lord. Yeah. Right. Am I on point? For my destiny. Right. Am I looking down the road at my life and saying, what is my end going to 
gonna be or do I know where I'm going? Am I confident in who's in me and to whom I belong? Am I confident that the God that I serve, come on somebody, is able to bring me to a place of completion? So I will talk to you this morning from a topic run to win. But I want to I want to set up just a little bit of background for you. Because we're dropping kind of into the middle of this book, 1 Corinthians. And in this book, Paul is, is the author, and he's writing to this Corinthian church. And the thing about the Corinthian church, it's, it's a little bit like us. Right. It's a little bit like us. It's, um, it's, a, it's a metropolis area. It's um, The church is predominantly made up of Gentiles. All right. In this particular body, what has happened is... Paul has come on his first missionary journey and he's established this church, okay? okay. So now he's left this fledgling, growing church to go on as it should. Right. He's left some elders in charge and he's gone on the rest of his journey. All right. All right. Okay, so while he's gone, how many of y'all know when the, when the cat's away? The mice the will burn. Yeah. How many of y'all know sometimes when the leader is not in the house, yeah. stuff starts happening? Come on. And every generation 
to come will understand I got to run to win. Yeah, I got to run to win. It's optional. See, we think it's optional. We think there's an opportunity to do something else. Well, I don't really like to run. Come on. Just ask anybody. Pastor Vanessa don't like to run. I'll take the walk every day. Come on, let's do it. We're going to do five. We're going to do four. Let's walk it. I'm running. I'm like, <laughs> so we think there's an option, but I want to express to you today that there really isn't an option. Oh, oh, all right. Right. Oh, See, because the run is for our very life. Yeah. All right, all right. The run is for your soul. Come on, come on. See, some people play with their soul, oh, and they don't understand that this thing is real life and death because there's, there's, there's a voice in the earth. Yeah. How many of y'all know there's a voice in the oh, earth? Right. you, but I know there's 
some things that come kind of hard. Yeah. Listen, when I'm on this Christian journey, sometimes my children say, Mom, see how you do it. Come on. You know what I look at and I tell I'm trying to make it in, baby. Yeah. I said, I got to have enough on my view. Yeah. I ain't trying to let no man, woman, boy, or girl interrupt right. right me. Well, I want everybody to go. Come on. God forbid. I'm still trying to make it in. Yeah. I'm still trying to make it to glory. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So we want to persevere. See, it's important at the end of the day that we don't give up. See, the Christian life has never been promised to be easy. Come on, somebody. All right. Listen, I'm going to ask y'all to be honest today. Uh-oh. When you gave your life to Christ, were you just a little bit deceived about what it meant to be saved? Right. Did you think that it was going to be easy after that? Yeah. Come on, anybody here both yeah. pay their hands? Street. Come on. Listen, just come and put your hand in the preacher's hand. Yeah. It's going to be all good. Yeah. The devil yeah. is alive. You just signed up on the devil's hit list. Come so on. Right. Oh, no. right. I got to get that one back. Come on. That's real. Oh, oh yes. Ah. So then he coming with everything. There is no promise that it's always going to be easy. Yeah. Instead, Lord. Paul wants us to know that we have to have purpose. Mm -hmm. And we have to have a plan. Purpose. Listen, you running, but are you running with a plan? Oh, yeah. Are you running to execute? Yeah, See, if you don't know what your plan is, mm -hmm. you don't know when you're doing well and when you're not. All right. All right. See, sometimes I have to stop and evaluate. Yeah. Well, this plan going to get me there or not. That's real. See, if I treat my neighbor like crap, mm -hmm. I mean, not, not that we would do that. Right. Mm -hmm. But if I'm just about myself, come on, come on. Not that we would do that either. Mm. Come on, see. Is that gonna get me the glory? Mm. If I never have a helping hand for nobody, come on, come on. Is that gonna make me get to glory? No, I am. See, at the end of the day, we gotta decide what it is and why it is that we're running. Yeah. See, because if I'm running just because my auntie and them told me it was a come good on. thing. Well, listen. Well. When the wind comes, uh -oh. when somebody hit me on that one cheek, uh -oh. and the Bible say turn the other, uh -oh. I'm saying, oh, any of them didn't know what they talking about. They were old fashioned. Uh -oh. uh -oh. That is for yesterday. Uh -oh. Look, we new school. Uh -oh. We don't do it like that. Uh -oh. Say, I'm sorry, G-Mama, I heard you. 
I said, oh, okay, um, she said, gee, mom, I said, I'm sorry. I said, well, it's still happening, girl. What the word? Right? Yeah. You can't get going away because you're sorry. The pain can go away, sorry. I'm grateful that you are sorry that you didn't intentionally hurt me. You know, when we bumped heads because we playing together. Right? Right. But I still need you to understand that pain is still there. All right. So all right. at the end of the day, if I'm going to run in such a way that God is going to give the honor and glory, that listen, when you hurt me, I don't have to hurt you. Right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I gotta do something a little bit of different. Oh, yes. I gotta go ahead and forgive that and let it go. Some some sisters holler, let it go. Let it go. That's a little hard, ain't it? Yeah. Now let it go, think it's something, something, something else, right? I'm just talking about Pastor Vanessa. I can't talk about nobody else. I be trying to hold that thing. I be down in the car crying like, Lord, do something. Yeah. Help me to let it go, Jesus. Help me to let it go. Listen, it has to be a steady diet of the Word of God. So we can have 
faith to run. And if we can't run by ourselves, we got to have faith in God. Because he's the one who's our helper. He's the one who's our helper. He's the one who's going to pick us up from the down. He's the one who's going to... All right. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the way we run, we got to be tempered. We got to make sure we're not into excess. The Bible says, let your moderation be known unto men. Let people know. Listen, listen, listen. You're not over into excess about anything, but your mind is stayed on God. So when we're running that race, listen, their, their mind is on the prize at all times. And they're running. And they're running. And they got their all going in. They're running. And listen, they've trained. Yes. And they've trained. And they trained. And so we're talking, we're talking about how we're gonna do it. How we're gonna do it. We gotta train ourselves. Yeah. 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 We gotta train ourselves. We gotta cultivate a lifestyle mm -hmm. that honors God. Come on. Listen, listen, the Bible says faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. At the end of the day, we gotta put the word in our ear so we can hear it. Listen, the word of God comes so we'll know how to live. How to live in a way that we win. See, every kind of way, listen, listen, we can start one way. But we can get off track. Yes, but if yes. we're living according to the word, it'll always bring us back to the right track. It'll always bring us back. Listen, we done heard some stuff, right? And people say, well, you don't need to do all that. Come on, yeah. come on. My Lord. It doesn't take all that. It don't take all that. Uh -huh. But you know what? In the years that I've lived knowing Jesus, it does take all that. Oh, yeah. See, when you, when, you, when you get that person come to you, and they're, listen, let me tell you something. They're jealous because you're trying to do what they want to do. When somebody keeps getting in your case and on your grill about, oh, you always do that. Well, it ain't none of your business, so why are you worried about it? Come on. You're worried about it because you're jealous because they're doing their part of their lifestyle. They to All right. They trying to do something that, that listen, it convicts them that you're doing it. Oh, yeah. And so they want to derail you. Come on. They want you to get out. Oh, you ain't got to train your children like that. It don't take all You don't have to do that. Let them go to the party. Let them go do this. Let them go back. Mm. My man. I always see in your ear giving you advice. Mm. Because they want to get you off of what on, convicts them in, the, on, in their lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. See, you're running to win. You're running for a prize. Come Listen, on. you're training up your children in faith because you want them to love God. All all right. You're running to win. Listen, everybody ain't with you that say they're with you. Come on, you better work. People that get in your ear say, oh, no. Oh no! I just I just left that church. Right. Oh they they didn't I, I oh they didn't accept my gift. They just didn't let me do what I wanted to do. Come and on. so listen, okay, my beloved, I love you. Okay. Next, okay, next. Listen, I'm still running for Jesus. Come on. I can't let that get me off of what God has required of me. What God has assigned my hands to do. I don't know about you, but I want to win. Listen, I've never got into no situation. If I sit down to play some cards, y'all, I'm sitting down there and talk some junk, I'm trying to win. Okay? If I don't know how to play some cards at all, all I'm trying to do is distract you enough to let me win. Glory to God. Jump. Yes. Oh, I'm hit five on one. Y'all don't even know who's yes, coming up to the back. I might can't even hit past first base, but you don't know that. Come on, come on. I'm just trying to get you to get out there far enough to let me make it to first base. What the world thinks I'm coming. Now you got to chase world back up into the infield while I make it to first. What you doing? Come on. Listen to me. I'm trying to win. Amen. That's Amen. it. It's no point in getting in the race. If you're not going to win. Oh, yeah, There's no point in letting even your best girlfriend, your boyfriend, your uncle, your aunt, your mama, your daddy, your auntie now. Don't let nobody derail you from winning. All it's right. a time for you All to right. discipline yourself. It's time for us to get about the things of God. So that we can win in this thing. Come on. Listen, there's too many of us falling off. Falling off what we're supposed to do. Yeah. We're falling off our assignment, y'all. How do I know we found out? Turn with me. Galatians. Mm. Hallelujah. Six. We're going to lift a couple of scriptures here. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Galatians, the sixth chapter. We're going to read three verses. Galatians 6, chapters, verses 7 through 10. And the word of God reads, this is how I know, this is how I know. The word of God reads, do not be deceived. 
God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that will he also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption. But he who sows to the spirit will of the spirit reap everlasting life. And let us not grow weary while doing good. For in due season we shall reap if we lose, if we not lose heart. Hallelujah. Therefore, tell somebody, therefore. Therefore. As we have opportunity, let us do good to all, especially to those who are of the household of faith. Listen, there's a reason why things are falling by the wayside. We are getting weary in well-doing. Listen, we are not, we're not understanding. Listen, listen, I'm tired. Listen, I hear, I hear, hear Mary coming. coming. Well, he didn't do it. Well, she didn't do it. So I wasn't going to do it. But look, let me tell you something. Don't be deceived. Listen, if he don't do it, hello. But you do it. If she don't do it, hello. But you do it. Because at the end of the day, you're going to reap what you sow. If you sow good to him, my beloved, somebody's going to sow good to you. Somebody's sowing good to you. Listen, you're going to reap for what you've done. No matter what, if it does not matter, I'm telling you, in a household, husband, wife, he can bless one and the other can be over there envious. I'm telling you what I know, what I know, what I know. God said you're going to reap what you sow. Then we get caught up and get weary. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not putting in 100%. They ain't putting in. All right, all right. But if you're wanting to win for heaven, if you want to make heaven your home, you're going to put in. Let me tell you why. Because the Bible says, do everything that you do, do it heartily as unto the Lord. All right. All right. And not unto man, not unto husband, wife, children, and not unto them, but unto the Lord. So if you did that, you washed them dishes, if you bathed the children, if you went to work, if you did whatever you did, did it to the Lord. But she don't say thank you, baby. You took out the trash. Talking about that for nothing. You still all right, baby, because you did that thing for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you did it for the Lord. You did it for the Lord. Now you ain't laying over that sour because she didn't say, I appreciate you taking out the trash. And she ain't laying over that sour because you didn't say, baby, it was a good meal. Hallelujah. We got to make sure we're doing it for the Lord. We got to make sure that's just how we're doing it. Because everything else is going to derail us. In every other arena, we're going to get tired. In every other arena, we're going to be weary. We're going to be weary and well doing. I'm going to be sick of it. I'm going to be feeling some kind of way. I'm going to be in my feelings because I'm working harder than you doing. I'm doing more for the house, for the children, for the kids, for the job, for the that. How we do it? We do it unto the Lord. We do it unto the Lord. We sow unto the Spirit so we can reap in the Spirit. And we don't grow weary. We don't grow weary. We have to keep in our mind because the Bible says for in due season, in due season we shall reap. Listen, we don't know when due season it is here. Pastor just talked last week. He talked about the day, or Bob said about a thousand Years and a day can be the same God, but listen, he said you're going to reap. Right. Listen, his word is as good as it gets. All he right. said he's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he all should right. repent. Right. Has he not spoken it? Will he not make it good? God yeah. said I keep my promises all the time. I'm going to do what I say I can do. Yeah. Do you know anybody on this earth that they can guarantee every single time they won't miss? All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. Nobody but God. Come on. So he said in due season, if you're doing it unto him, he said, if you're running to win heaven, if you got the right why, listen, if your motivation is right, he said, in due season, you're going to reap. It's coming. Why not make the confession? When it's your hardest spot, when it looked like nothing ain't happening, I'm going to say, God, I thank you for due season. Come on. Right. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I do reap. Right. Is it worth it? Can you believe it and receive it? Yes. Don't get weary. 
Listen, don't let nobody make you quit. All right. It's not time to quit. Even if things tough, even if it look crazy. The God that you serve is bigger than your circumstances. It's bigger than your situation. Listen, he will not let you down. He will not let you fall. He said he'll raise you up. All right. Thank you, Lord. You're willing to win. If you're holding on to the things of God. I don't know about you. But that's how we gotta run. That's how we gotta run. And then we gotta run out, realize that the win is now. See, we gotta realize it's now. Tomorrow isn't promised. Amen. Listen, Amen. I know it's not a popular message. That whole living holy, not don't don't live together, that whole listen, serving God and going to church. I know that's not a popular message today. Come on, come on. Listen, that's not the message of the new generation. People don't want to hear that. Come on. But listen, let me tell you something. It's still Bible. Yeah. Bible is not gonna change yes. for people. This is a matter of life and death. All right. And we are all, right. all going to stand before God. And we're going to give an account for the giftings that he has put in us. And it is up to us. All right. It is all up right. to us to decide. Listen, that I'm going to do good to all mankind, whether they do good to me. Amen. That yeah. I'm, I'm going to be the best that I can be. All that right. I'm going to have my eyes on the prize because I want to win heaven. I don't know about you, but listen, well, at the end of the day, when people are standing on my casket, like I tell them, I don't want to talk about and that's the show cook cook. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about them cakes she used to bake. <laughs> Y'all better get up out of here. Y'all better tell somebody she loved the Lord God. And she was giving the truth and not the truth. And she loved God's people. And she was about his business. Rest that testimony. Y'all leave that for the house somewhere. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. It's time to understand that you're here for more than that. Amen. You're here Amen. for more than just to get all that you can get in this earth. You're here from the God saved you for a purpose. Uh -huh. Listen, listen. He 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 wants more for you. He has an assignment for your life, and it's up to you. Listen to believe enough to get that assignment and to run well. Uh -huh. He wants you to run well. He's giving you the equipment on the inside to run well. He don't want you to be on barely get along street. He said, I came that you might have life and life more abundantly. He wants you to have the very best. Yes. He wants you, he wants you to be the head and not the tail. Amen. But it is up to us whether we can be that. It's up to us whether we can have that. It is up to us how we run. Yes. But I want to encourage you today. Run to win. Listen, run like you don't care who in the race. Run, run like you don't care if Jackie Jordan a curse you beside you. Run like you can pick it up and put it down. It does not matter. All right. Listen, in the world, when they run in the race, we see it in the scripture. One wins. Yeah. Yes. One wins the race. Uh -huh. Might be a tie on a rare occasion. Come on. But in Christ, we all get to win. Oh, yes. Yes. I don't know about you, but that's good. But we're going to have to lay aside some 
some things that are hindering us from winning, from hindering us from being. Listen, he, he, he tells us in, in first when he tells us in, in verse 6, 26, he says, he says, listen, he says, um, in verse 1, he says, everyone who competes for the prize is tempered in all things. Now they do it. Listen, their motivation, their why is for a perishable crown. Yeah. I'm going to get some money. I'm going to get the blue ribbon. I'm going to get the this, that. That's They're going to get a perishable crown. That's it. But we're running. We're running for an imperishable crown. Yes. We're running for a crown that don't drop. We're running for a crown that won't burn up. We're running for a crown that's going to burn up. You. I don't know about you. Them Super Bowl rings, them guys, they be running for them. Yeah. They be going hard. Yeah. They'll hit the ground, they'll bump, they'll do whatever. They running for a prize. But I'm going to tell you, it's perishable. Listen, if their house burned down, that ring and that, that ring on, is gone. Come on. It's going to perish. Right. It's going to perish. Money's going to perish. But we're running for an imperishable crown. Yeah. We're running for something that will never go away. My Lord. We're running for an imperishable crown. And then he says, listen. I don't have to run afraid. Mm. I don't have to be afraid of whether I'm going to win. Mm. I don't have to be afraid of somebody coming up behind me. I don't have to be afraid of whether they're going to pass me. Come See, on. I don't have to be uncertain about the end mm. because God promises us a win. He said, you're more than overcomers. He said, I, you're a conqueror, yea, in all things. Yeah. Listen, I you to do. Amen. You don't have to be uncertain about it. He said, thus I fight, not as one who beats the air. Listen, I'm not fighting all out of order. I'm not just swinging. You know how sometimes you see them girls, they fight, they yeah. fight like this, they go, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. Listen, I never was one of them. I never was one of them because I had big brothers. That's right. I had big brothers that played in the NFL. I had big brothers. Listen, I had to fight like this with my eyes open like this. Right. Boom. Yeah. I had to go for the juggler. Uh -huh. I had to go in like I knew what to do. Right. Listen, they didn't knock me down. I get back up some more, bro. Come on. All right. See? <coughs> fight like you know. Right. See, so you're fighting for your life. Come on, yeah. come on. This yeah. fight is for your life. Come on. The Bible says contend for the faith. To contend means to fight. Mm. That means to fight to stay in the faith. Mm. It means to fight to believe what God has said to you. All right. That thing that he promised you, that thing that the prophet spoke over your life, right. that thing that they said was going to come to pass, they said it, this shall come to pass, but you're going to have to fight for it like you never fought for anything before. He will empower you to win. Mm, thank you, Lord. If you will keep your eyes on it. Yes. Listen, don't look at what other people are saying. Mm. Listen, they, they, listen. God has your best interest at heart. Mm. God wants you to win. Listen, he said, I came that you might have life. Listen, listen, listen. For God so loved the world that he gave. Listen, he didn't give his son so that you could lose. Come on, come he on. He gave his son so that you can win. And finally, I'm closing with this. Listen, he said, but I discipline my body. Oh, now, y'all don't even want to read this particular <laughs> Because you know we don't like that discipline thing. Come on, man. Come on. That discipline don't feel good. Mm. How many like discipline? No, right, exactly. Mm. Nobody. Exactly. Because we want to do like we want to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's but in order to win this race, in order to, listen, in order to receive the prize, in order to see, receive all the crowns and all the things that God has stored up for us. Listen, he said, eyes have not seen, mm. ears have not heard mm. of the things, the great things that God has in store for us. Listen, he said he will do exceedingly and abundantly, even more than we can think or even ask. All right. That's how great is it Thank that God has prepared for those who win. To those who stay in the race, those who endure, those who yeah. fight for the faith, those who contend. Listen, I will not be moved. I will not let, 
I will not quit. I will not be weary. Come on, come on. But in order to do that, I've got to discipline my body. Oh, Paul said, crucify it daily. Yes. To crucify means to kill. Yes. We got to kill this flesh, y'all. Mm. Because this flesh wars against the spirit. Yes. yes. This flesh yes. will straight up war against your destiny. Come on, come on. It will war against what God has put you in this earth All right. to do. All right. Your flesh, your very own flesh, come will on. not allow Woo! you. If you do not discipline it Come on, amen. to be what God has called you to be, all right, it will tell you, go sit in front of that TV uh, when you heard clearly in your spirit, God said, I need you to pray right now. Amen. Anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. This flesh has to be crucified. Uh, we have to put it aside. We have to say, you know what? That's what the Bible says. Mm -hmm. I got to get up and get my prayer time. Yeah. I got to get up and get in my Bible and study. Not, listen, it's not optional, saints. Mm -hmm. It's not the option. It's not if I feel good today. It's not if I have time. Mm -hmm. See, that's how we do it. But this is where we mess up with the things of God. I'll tithe if I have some money left See? over. Come on, come on. When the last time anybody had some money left over for a tithe? <laughs> Put your hand up. Come on, somebody. And guess what? You never win. I'm just here to tell y'all, on the real, we have to not listen to our flesh when it comes to the things of, of God. It's never going to agree. If you, if you if you ever praying and you hear God, and your flesh be like, yeah, say, so, oh, that wasn't it. Come on. You can know me that that wasn't God. All right, all right. He said the flesh and the spirit war against one another. Oh, yeah. And that just means that the things that you know, here's what's going to happen. Let me tell you how it's going to look. God is going to speak something to your heart. And when you hear that, you're going to say, yeah, that's right. You're gonna be so, you're gonna be so, it's going to be so sweet. It's going to be like, I really need to do that. Because that's, that's, that's what God wants me to do. I really love him. Uh. And then you're going to get up. And your flesh is going to say, but girl, mm, okay. you need to go over here and do this first. Come on. And God knows your heart. Come so on. you will get around to it. And when you get around to it, it's going to be all right with God. Because you know God just good like that. He don't. Come on. Huh? Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Ain't nobody ever heard that. Oh, have a faith. I'm so glad I'm in the house. I'm so, amen. That's real. Amen. That's just right here to you. Come on. To get you right off of what you know God spoke to your heart. And listen, here's the thing. When I say the flesh and the spirit water together, listen, I'll tell you, let me tell you something. It ain't no hard thing. Listen, the inside of you, that person loves God and wants to obey God. It ain't no struggle. It's this outside person. Come on, somebody. Yes, Lord. They want to do what it want to do. Right? Y'all know about that. Anybody? You know, like when you start your diet, and that on the inside I say, girl, you know you need to get them 20 pounds off. Come on. That's the right Come person on. talking. Yeah. Then that outside I say, girl, that ice cream sure look good. Yeah. 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 Same principle. Same principle. When God is speaking to his people about how to win the race, about how to, how to obtain what he's called you to have. Listen, how to walk in your destiny. God wants you to win, saints. Oh, yes. Listen, those people in your life that are around you, you know people who are unsaved. You know people who don't know the Lord. Listen, God wants you to be the witness. He wants you to be the one to tell them about Jesus. He wants you to be the one. Listen, to live in such a way that they're drawn to God. Come on. But they want to see your life and say, oh, man, how did she turn her life around? Mm -hmm. How did he start doing it? I don't remember he used to be drinking with me every Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Now, why is he doing that? Why is she doing Listen. All right. Your life is like, you don't have to say all that much. Come on. All you have to do is live it. Come and when they ask you, it. all you have to do is say, you know what, I'm not perfect, but I'm just trying to do what I know God said for me. Right. Right. That's, right. 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 That's, right. Right. That's right. all you have to do. That's enough with me, John. Mm. Just let them know I'm living. I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm, I'm in pursuit of the pride. Yeah. Yes. Listen, Paul, I press the pride of the high, of the high top. I press the pride of the high of the high top. Things that would hinder me. Yeah, right. Don't let it hinder you, saints. 
Don't let it move you off of what you know. Listen, I don't care if all your friends, oh, it don't matter. Because we said in the beginning that whatever you do, do it hardly as unto the Lord. Yes. As unto the Lord. Listen, everybody ain't not going to run with you. The Bible right. says on this road, on this road to win, to have to win heaven, on this road, the Bible says there's going to be a passerby every now and then. Yeah. You know why? He said because everybody ain't on the race running. Right. Listen, it's a never, he said, well, it's going to be a passerby every now and then. And you know why? Because when that now, when you need that word right now, Come that passerby is coming. Woo! When you need that then, so that you win. See, he's going to assure you're winning. He's not going to let you faint. So don't worry about it. Don't be weary. He said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. He goes on to say in 1 Corinthians, I'm finishing up here with this last one. He says, I discipline my body, bring it into subjection, lest, this is Paul talking, when I have preached to others, I myself should become disqualified. I feel him to my very soul, to my bone, to the marrow. Listen, I gotta walk this walk, lest I myself, having preached to you, Come on. Come become disqualified. Oh, Let's I fall off. Let's I don't do what I know to do is right. Mm. See, at the end of the day, we saw God is not mocked. Listen, the Bible says to him who know to do right Come on. and do it not. Come on. It's sin. Mm. At the end of the day, there's nobody in your house, in your car, in your wherever. This ain't nobody knowing your thoughts but you and Jesus. Mm. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. So he's the one you're going to give an account to. Oh, yes. He's the one who's going to say when and how. Mm. He's going to be the one who says, enter in, my beloved. Mm. He's going to say, you fought the good fight of faith, mm. enter in. Mm. Uh, he's going to say, depart from me. You don't, I don't know you. Mm. Come on. See, we can, we, can, we can fake it in here. We can fake it before the world. But we cannot right. before God. Come on, come on. He That's is real. omniscient. He does know. And I'm here to tell you, he loves you so much. Mm. He loves you so much that he does not want anyone to perish. Mm. He loves you so much. Listen, that he would send a word that says, come on. Come on, run this race. Come on, run with integrity. Listen, let it go. It don't matter what they say about you. They talk about Jesus. And God know he didn't do no sin. They got him a wine bill. They got him all kinds. They got all kinds of stories out about him. And he's so with women. You know, it, if they talk about you, so what? If they say stuff, listen, listen, in the beginning of ministry, Things were going well, and we would go, people would go, and people would tell us, somebody said something, I would be so hurt. I come to my husband, and I say, honey, I said, how could they say that about us? They were treated so well in this ministry. How could they go out there, and it would just hurt me? And the Lord would speak to me, and said, did you do it for me? Come on, all right. He said, did you do it for me? All right. Did you treat them well for me? Did you treat them like you want to be treated for me? And I said, yes, Lord. He said, then it's well. Oh, yes. He said, then it's well. Glory. See, that's how Jesus made it through, because he was communing with the Father, and he knew. He said, I must be about my Father's business. He yes. knew he was doing it for the Lord. All right, all right. So all I want to tell you is run. Run for heaven. Right. Run for the Lord. Yes. Listen, don't let your friends cause you to miss heaven. All right. It's not worth it to be a best friend. It's not worth come it to on, be somebody's girlfriend. On. Listen, somebody's number two. Come I'm on. just saying. Come it's on. not worth it to not run to win. To compromise. Yes. To take down when you know in your heart of heart that you didn't say anything just because you wanted to be that person's friend. That you didn't say anything when you know God was speaking to your heart. Mm. Well, they're going to look at me funny. Well, let them look. Because mm. you need to love them enough to tell them the truth. Oh, and I mean you need to love them enough. It don't have to be ugly things. Just because you got to tell somebody something tough, it don't mean to be ugly. That's your love to them. Come on. All right. Don't let them go out the house, listen, with their clothes on backwards because you won't love them enough. Say, baby, did you, was everything okay? Put your shirt on right. Uh -huh. Come on. For real. That's love. If I'm going to sister, why are, you, why are you striking out like that? What's going on in your life? That's love. Come on. 
Love somebody enough. Love them to the kingdom. Is that all right?